over 51 candidates, over $50,000 in scholarships, and just one winner. This week, a new Miss America will be crowned, and contestants have already arrived at the Monaghan Sun, where the competition will take place on Thursday. Joining us is someone who knows exactly what the contestants are going through right now, what it's like to compete on the Miss America stage, ESPN and SEC Network host, and Miss Florida 2012, Laura Rutledge, is zooming in. Hey, Laura. Hey, how are you? Doing well. So excited to talk to you today. Of course, you know exactly what the contestants are going through right now. Maybe can you share a little bit uh, of your personal journey uh, when you were competing for Miss America? Yeah, so 2012, or when I competed, which was in 2013, feels like eons ago. Even as you say it, I'm like, wow, that makes me feel really old. But anyway, there still are a ton of similarities between the time that I competed and what these young women are feeling today. And I, I think it's there's so much work that goes into it, whether you are somebody who has been preparing for this your whole life, or if you're somebody like me who sort of chanced into it, and then I put in all the prep in the months in the lead up, you feel like, wow, all of it's finally here, and you feel very ready, but also incredibly nervous. I remember thinking, is my wardrobe in place? What am I gonna do for my interview? Trying to calm the nerves, also enjoying the time with the other women, which was something that I didn't quite understand the impact that would have on me. Just being able to meet these women who uh, also were so incredibly motivated and they were go-getters and actually a lot of them I'm still in touch with. So I know there's a lot of that going on. You're also balancing kind of not that much sleep and you've got a lot of rehearsals and you're preparing for for your competition so it's definitely a high stress time but also a time that you look back on for the rest of your life and you really do treasure yeah absolutely you had the chance you're hosting uh the competition this year did you ever think that you would be back on stage again in this capacity no i never did uh, i truly can't believe it it's, it's funny because even when i was miss florida and i competed in miss america 2013 I was obsessed with watching the hosts and the MCs. And that year, Chris Harrison was hosting the competition. And I was watching everything that they did to the point that there were a few times I was missing my marks in rehearsal because I was paying attention more to what the MCs were doing than what I was doing. And so to think that, you know, some 10 years later, here I am with an opportunity to, to host this night, uh, it is truly such an honor. And to me, I think to be such a small part, but also to have a front row seat of watching these young women's lives change before our eyes really matters to me. And, and I take that so seriously. So uh, it is an incredible honor. We're gonna put on a great show and we're gonna crown a new Miss America. Yeah, absolutely. Laura, you have the absolute dream career and you're balancing all of it. You're a mom, you're a wife. How do you do it all? <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, I'm doing this Zoom from inside my car because we, uh, my mom's here right now, so we just went grocery shopping, and we are then going to do some more interviews before getting ready for NFL Live, which is the daily show that I host on ESPN today, so I'll be doing that while my daughter Reese is in school, then racing home to get with her, and, and truly, I mean, any mom who's a working mom, or even if you're not a working mom and you're doing the full-time job of a mom, which is more of a full-time job than even having an additional job, uh, you can relate. You know, we're all just trying to do our best, and most of the time it is a complete mess, uh, and I feel most days like I'm nowhere near nailing it, and I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, it is a beautiful time, I think. I, I always remind myself that later on in life I'll look back and I'll be like, wow, mm. now I have plenty of sleep, and, you know, I'm kind of bored, and I miss those days when... I had a little kid and we were running around and trying to make it all work. So I try to be as thankful as possible, but certainly it's not as smooth as maybe sometimes things appear on social media and in the, to the outside world. <laughs> yeah, Laura, that's good to know that even people at your level are just like the rest of us. We go oh, to yeah. the grocery store, <laughs> we hang out with our moms. So I love that. Looking right. forward to seeing you back on the Miss America stage as you host this week. Thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy your day. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.